Yes, yes, uh, it's pretty exciting. We, we did the pro project, a similar project in Calexico Mexicali in uh, 2011, um, and uh, Sandag uh, has just recently uh, uh, had our, our team, uh, which includes a company called HDR. Um, our two companies are going to be uh, collecting uh, over 7,000 pieces of data of cars and buses and trucks crossing the border. We're going to measure the time from the cars slowing down and getting in line to the time that they cross the other side of the border. and. Uh, We'll have over 7,000 pieces of data on that. Um, we're going to start that in about four to five weeks. Do you think it's the border, the San Isidro border of entry, is now worse than in the past in terms of waiting at the border? You know, it's hard to tell because the border weights, uh, they vary so much. And this is one of the, the, the important things about uh, collecting data and doing it on a regular basis. Um, you know, our own firm, we do it uh, for our own purposes, for our clients and for ourselves. Um, but also organizations like Sandag um, making the effort to, to fund projects where there's more data so that you can find some benchmarks and look at changes over time. Unfortunately, the border crossing time data that's out there uh, is, doesn't really exist um, or it's very incomplete. So there's really nothing to, to, to measure again. Ken Maurice, do you think that the construction of the border has been increasing the waiting time for the people across the border here in San Isidro? Well, unfortunately, I think that there's not enough data to, to show if, if it's the construction that's changing some of the border crossing patterns. What we do see from the data is that um, over at Otay Mesa, uh, the number of cars crossing at Otay Mesa has increased about 30 percent uh, since, you know, if you compare the first half of 2011 to the first half of 20. 2012. So clearly uh, people are moving over to Otay Mesa. The number of cars crossing at San Ysidro has decreased by about 10 percent. Um, given that that's the case, it's hard to tell if that's because of the construction creating delays or if that's because the ready lane users are now preferring to go over to Otay Mesa.